with a payday looking likely for JC and Rod. The next challenge, to find somewhere to sleep for the night. Got a bit of a lead on a Sheila in town. She runs an accommodation place. Needs a bit of renovation done on the dugout, apparently. Make a bit of money, get a bed for the night. That sounds good to me, Rod. Interesting looking place, Jimmy. It's certainly underground. Rod and JC have come to see Yanni and George's friend, Tina Scott, who runs the Opal Cave Inn, one of the biggest opal and accommodation businesses in Cooper PD. Hey, it's all right, isn't it? She did say that she might be out the back and go and find her. Geez, look at this place, Jimmy. How cool are dugouts? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, it's unreal. Look at this. Big bedroom. You want to expand your house, you just dig Big. a new bedroom. More people live underground here than probably anywhere in the world. Yeah. Well, you got to. Desert heat. Makes sense, doesn't it? Hey, Tina, you about anywhere, mate? Yeah, yeah. Come through, Rod. Hi, How Rod. are you? Nice Welcome. You. How you going, Tina? Tina? So this is it, Tina. This is what you want done, mate? Yes. All Definitely. this stuff that's peeling off. Yes. Yeah. But the humidity inside uh, has made it quite moist and the plaster is coming away, so I'd really need that all tapping down in preparation for resealing. Most of us live underground. 70% yeah. of the population is 70%, fact, yeah? At least. Yeah. Cool in summer, yeah. warm in winter. Yeah. And the miners in the beginning in their little tin shed to cook tea. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. And they thought, well, I'm going back down here to sleep in their mine, and that's how it all started. Yeah. This is the other job. It needs taking down a good foot Easy. and a shelf here. Let's get down nitty-gritty. What are we...? Uh... Well, if you can complete the job, to my satisfaction. Yep. Uh, 300 each. Well... I know you got some accommodation. We're looking for a bed. 300 bucks plus a bed for the night. Right. That all right? And I'll let you in on a little secret. Yeah. Opal was found in this area. Yeah? Really? 50-50. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tina. Yeah. We do have accommodation available, and JC and Rod are quite welcome to stay there. It's all underground. Uh, if they do a good job. We're getting paid $300 each for renovations, and we have the chance to find Opal in here. Oh, it's a bit of a dog's breakfast, isn't it? Jeez, is that your place? We've got two jobs to do, and we need to get into it because she wants it all done today. Hey, you goose, what are you doing? Yeah, come on. Big, tough opal miner. Oh. <laughs> I reckon that that's probably good enough, mate, don't you? Yeah. But... Tiny bit of tidying up, and then we'll go on to the next job, eh? Don't forget what she said. There's been opal found down here, so keep an eye out, mate. going on there, Jimmy? The power supply might be a little bit dodgy, I think. Hey! Oh, you're kidding me. It's as black as a dog's guts in here. All right. Oh! We have light. You all right? What's your step? Step there, Jimmy. Uh, I'd say it'd be them. Yes, Jimmy. Power, mate. Hey, Jimmy! Jimmy! Grab us that light and bring it over here. What? i got colour. Bullsh**. And it's big and it's friggin' cheesy, no, mate! You no, you fair dinkum, fair dinkum. Oh. 
I never even saw that when I was bloody digging that out, mate. Look at that. See, we've got no bloody lights down here. I can't see anything. That's where it's come from. Here, look at that. Stop it. We get 50% of this. Oh, There's a bit of money there, mate. See what I mean? You've got to create opportunities. That's a massive bit of crystal. It's thick. It's got colour running all the way through it. I got a bit of an idea, Jimmy. Potentially, we could get 1500 bucks for this, and we're in front. We got to buy her out. Yeah. Well, we haven't found a lot of opal, but there's one nice big chunk of it. And I'd just like to run the gamble on it a little bit, try and buy Tina out with it and just take the opal. Cut that shelf in more so you can oh, put some stuff good. on the shelf. Very and, good. And um, you can walk under here now without banging your scone. Absolutely. I've had a bit of an idea of letting Jimmy run with tr trying to make the deal with her. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge for the young fella because Tina's no mug, you know. She owns an opal shop in Cooper Pudi. She's been dealing in opal for a long time. So I owe you 600 But just hang on a sec. But have a look at that. And this all just yeah, came one, out of the same area. Yeah, one, one tiny little, one little pocket. In the beginning, you went with a 50-50 deal with us. If yeah. we found any over, we'd like to kind of buy you out of the stone, in a sense. How about you keep $300 and we keep the stone? No, this is my offer. You can have all of this, but you can't have any of this. Well, what about, what about 400 bucks? Because think about it, that's saying that that's worth 800 in the rough. That's, $800 for a rough stone, I know it's a big stone. That's worth at least 1200 in the rough. No way. Huh? No. You're not getting any of this if you want that. <laughs> you drove a bloody hard bargain there. In a bid to make their cross-country road trip pay off, rookie miner JC is struggling in his first solo negotiation. No deal? No, no, no. This is uh, quite good quality. As he tries to buy Tina out of the Opal, he and Rod found renovating her underground business. You're not getting any of this, and you can have all that. So it's 600 bucks for the yeah. stones. And I'm doing you a big favour. Alrighty. You got a deal, yep. Tina. And you the bed, remember? Yeah, and we got the bed. You got yourself a deal. Thank you, Tina. You're welcome. She was never going to negotiate with me. She knew what that stone was worth and <laughs> what she wanted for it. We still got the stone, though. And, and it was only 600, really, like, we're hoping to get a lot more than that for it. So this could work out really well for me and Rod.